With hypothermia, the classic electrocardiographic finding is J-point elevation, also known as the Osborne J-wave. Note the prominent convex deflection at the junction of the QRS complex and the ST segment. It is most clearly evident in the precordial leads and typically negative in leads AVR and V1. The amplitude of the J-wave roughly correlates with the severity of hypothermia. Although J-waves are characteristic of hypothermia, it is important to note that they can also be present in other conditions such as Brigada syndrome, benign early repolarization, hypercalcemia, sepsis, and subarachnoid hemorrhage. Hypothermia can also cause diffuse slowing of impulse conduction. This can lead to prolonged intervals, such as the PR and QT intervals, and widened waveforms, such as the P waves and QRS complexes. Inspect the QT interval in the CCG. Note that it's prolonged. The PR interval and P waves cannot be assessed due to the underlying rhythm. In regard to the underlying rhythm, marked slowing of the heart rate can occur due to a variety of bradyarrhythmias, such as sinus bradycardia, AV block, and atrial fibrillation with slow ventricular response. In this ECG, note the irregular RR intervals and fibrillatory waves of AFib, yet the slow ventricular rate. One pitfall to be aware of, however, is that shivering can lead to electrocardiographic artifacts, such as waves simulating ventricular tachycardia. In summary, hypothermia can lead to a variety of different ECG manifestations, including J-point elevation, slowed impulse conduction, and bradyarrhythmias. In this ECG specifically, we can make note of the Osborne J-wave, a long QT interval, and atrial fibrillation with a slow ventricular response. I hope you found this lecture to be helpful and worth your time. Please feel free and very welcome to leave a comment or suggestion below. And if you like this video, please hit subscribe and check out some of the other videos in this channel.